Hey, I found out about flights. They said it's fine at seven months. Oh, come on, Fee. <laughs> Honey, we just flew to Yellowstone back. Yeah, I know, but that way you were with me, and B, you weren't in the air for like 11 hours. Well, then I don't get to see my mum this side of Christmas, do I? Quick. What? I'll call you. I'll see you guys soon. This is Matt. What's the damage? Ah, uh, well, some broken glass for sure. Nothing major. Okay, what do we got? Be in touch. 6.9. 10 kilometers beneath the South Arm Fork. Okay, I'm running a simulation. 6.9 at what? 10 kilometers beneath the South Arm Fork. That's confirmed. 6.9. Standing by for more data. the webcam images of the fishing bridge area over say, say the last five minutes whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, go 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 back come out he needs to get to the other end of the lake where are you gonna be I'm gonna be in my office Fortunately, due to the remoteness of the area, damage was limited. But tragically, nine bodies have been recovered so far. All from the fishing bridge area of the park. As well, 43 people have been taken to hospital with various injuries, some of them life-threatening. I'm going to hand you over now to Mr. Rick Lieberman of the USGS, then we'll take some questions. Rick? The earthquake, a 6.9 on the Richter scale, occurred at 12.13 local time, centered at a depth of 10 kilometers beneath Mount Sheridan, at the southern end of Lake Yellowstone. The earthquake triggered a landslide off the South Arm Fork, which in turn caused a tsunami wave to hit the northern shore here a few minutes later. All indicators suggest that this quake was not volcanic, but was, was tectonic in its nature caused by a grinding together of the Earth's plates along a known fault line. The pattern of aftershocks of decreasing magnitude is consistent with this type of seismic activity. Any questions? Is it true Old Faithful is stopped? Uh, yes, that, that is true. However, uh, ground movement can both block and unblock hydrothermal features. Has there been any effect on the uplift at Norris? No, 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 no not that we've seen at all, no. Are you still sure that there isn't going to be an eruption, Mr. Lieberman? As, I, as I've said, Ms. Chin, this earthquake was not caused by volcanic activity, as far as we know. We are increasing our alert status to yellow, which, uh, as you know, does mean watch. Yep. Does that mean you're not ruling out an eruption? Uh, look, Ms. Chin, Yellowstone has sometimes as many as 3,000 earthquakes every year. None of them followed by eruptions. Now, everything points to this being a one-off tragic accident. The truth? We, uh, we had the Hebgen Lake earthquake in 1959, a couple of miles from Yellowstone. 7.5 in the Richter scale. Massive landslide, 29 dead. And it didn't indicate a damn thing. Again in 1975. Mag 6, it didn't either. I mean, hell, I'm a politician, not a scientist. The USGS guys tell me it's another Hebgen Lake. I gotta take their word for it. You know, you go on the available facts. Problem was that uh, the place the size of Yellowstone, we, um, well, we didn't have all the available facts. So, South Dakota. Noted geophysicist Dr. Kenneth Wiley. 
His new book, Super Fangs, deals directly with phenomena similar to those we've seen in recent days at Yellowstone. The book carries with it some dire warnings about the consequences of ignoring the... Richard Lieberman, YVO. Sorry. Hey, it's me. Possible. You, uh... You better take a look at KCVZ News. I will do that. Thank you. I'll call you back. I think we have Bye. good reason to be concerned. Maggie, I think that we ought to make a clear distinction between a regular volcanic eruption and a <coughs> eruption. Mount St. Helens was the most violent eruption in American history. It killed 57 people, and it erupted about one cubic kilometer of volcanic ash. You're watching the great man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now let's say that uh, this cube here represents the amount of oh, wow. volcanic material what ejected by Mount St. Helens. Now in volcanic terms, it's a tiddler. Krakatoa, oh, a tiddler. the Indonesian volcano that erupted in 1883, was 17 times larger than Mount St. Helens, killed 36,000 people. And it's represented by this cube here. Yeah. And finally, we have this. This is two and a half thousand times the size of Mount St. Helens. This is a super volcano. This is currently sitting underneath the ground at Yellowstone Park. And when was the last time one of these super eruptions happened? About 74,000 years ago in a place called Toba, on the other side of the world, Sumatra. Now the volcanic eruption there was so vast, it created a volcanic winter, plunged the world into darkness, and all but wiped out the human race. Missed one though, didn't it? And Yellowstone has produced eruptions on this sort of scale before? Oh yes, three times in the last two million years. And you think that the activity that we're seeing there right now may indicate that it's about to happen for a fourth time? Oh God. Yes, I do believe that these events are cyclical. Three caldera forming eruptions in the last 2.1 million years means on average one eruption every 600,000 years. And we haven't had an eruption like that at Yellowstone for 640,000 years now. In other words, we're overdue. No. Yes, I believe the warning oh, yeah. signs. I believe that the warning signs are there, if you care to read them. Thank you, Dr. Wiley. You are. Thank well, you, Dr. Dr. Wiley. Oh, God, I know he's your brother-in-law, Rick, but uh, the guy's a total numpty. That's not a good thing, right? No, that's not good. No. We were trying to monitor something so vast that it was almost incomprehensible. The park itself is over two million acres, and somewhere within that was the volcano. But for the longest time, we, we couldn't figure out where. Then in the 80s, NASA took some aerial photographs of the park, and uh, these photographs revealed the volcanic crater for the first time. It turns out we'd been looking on the wrong scale. This crater measured 85 kilometers by 45, big enough to hold the largest city in the world. Tokyo, population 18 million. Yes, I did see Mr. Wiley on the television. No, approximately every 600,000 years, sir. I mean, with a conservative margin of error, we could be up by a hundred... And I'm telling you, sir, we're not hiding anything, all right? Everything we know is out on our website. How's it looking, man? Uh, it's looking good, though. I'd like to make a couple more passes, though. Sure, no problem. No, no, sir, uh, no. Sir, I I'm afraid that drilling down to try to siphon off the magma wouldn't work. No. In fact, it could probably cause the whole thing to go off. Yeah, I don't like that. Can we get down there? It's all true. This thing's ready to blow in a matter of well, days, if not hours, and uh, everybody, absolutely everybody's going to die horribly. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Your Holiness. Nice. CO2 levels are good up here, but the ground level CO2 that's killing those trees. Yeah, it looks like those trees are dying. 